Kindle tells the story of the first time that he came to the United States. As you take a look at the sky. First of tells the story about his first trip. He was just 15 years old at the U.S. He says there were five of us, two girls, two boys, and a coach. He says the girls went to Dallas for a tournament. We went to Florida. The coach put us on a plane at Kennedy Airport, and we went and wanted to get off at the first stop, which he says was Tampa. Second stop was Melbourne. And he says, I suppose there is one in Florida. We thought we were in Australia, and we were really afraid. We didn't speak any English, and we said to ourselves, okay, wait, one more stop, and then we're going to get out no matter what, because if it's Sydney, we're in trouble. <laughs> Can't talk. Pat Cash, 5-3, down in the fourth set. So he's within one game of being eliminated. Cash serving, 15 love. If he holds on, of course, Chesnikov will serve for it at 5-4. So, so much now about how Lendl wants to become an American citizen. You know, the only player, as we have another look, this is such a well-struck volley by John that Lendl can't get it back. The only player I can think of other than Yvonne Lendl who knows our American Constitution is Martina Navratilova. <laughs> kind of ironic, huh? Don't talk. Yes and no. I'm, I'm one of those, too took out citizenship Mary about five years ago and I feel like I'm more American than most Americans I know too. It happens that way. Very proud of the United States. There you go. Like Lendl, I feel that uh, more people should have to travel around the world to check out the differences. Makes you feel better about where you live. Got him again with that slice backhand. Boy, I love that passing shot of Lendl's. Even if it doesn't pass John Cold, it sets up a defensive volley. I, that's a perfect example of the fact that all you have to do to pass somebody at net is to get it by them. You don't have to drill it deep. You don't have to go for a huge shot. Just get it by their body, and it's gone. The thing about that slice cross-court of his, Mary, is that it looks to some extent like it's going to be a lob. Break point. So you kind of back up in expectation or anticipation of the lob, and next thing, it slides by you. Helpless feeling. And now game point for McEnroe. Oh my gosh, McEnroe.
Lendl man. Four Captain games to one for Lendl, one set apiece, but let's go to court number one for an update on what's going on with the Cash Chesnikov match. Jim? Cliff and Mary, there he is, 22 years old, out of Moscow, Andrei Chesnikov, the 14th seed. There's the number four men's seed from Australia, Pat Cash, break point, fourth set. This, of course, is match point just moments ago. Chesnikov. And there it is. The 22-year-old advances into the quarterfinals. He will meet France's Henri Leconte. There are the scores. Chesnikov lost the first set 2-6. Came storming back 6-2, 6-4, and 6-3. That's it from court one. Let's go back to the stadium court. Thank you, Jim. So did things advertisements they do it right here swing volley miss hit gives John a winner Lendl should have closed earlier and played this volley straight up. Instead, look, he takes he's, he makes a real swingy play and he didn't strike it clean. But John did. Cash, the number four seed, tough match for him to play out in court number one. Against this match, everybody's here, almost nobody at court one. And when you're as highly seeded as that, chance to get into the quarterfinals. Tough under the circumstances. Cans up. There's not much you can do about it though with the rain delays that we've had over the last couple of days. When you bring out the balls and blow in the dark so we can see them now. Lendl has had his say about the light. You just heard John McEnroe make his reference to what he thinks about having to play so late. 9.22 p.m. in Paris. And it is too dark to play. Can't throw. A miracle of modern television I don't think allows you at home if you see the same picture that is on my monitor to see just how dark it is out there it looks pretty light Lendo's blaming that backhand miss on the lack of light. Here's what they're dealing with, and it is, it's, it's just way too dark. Amazing how many people are still here. They've been here all day through two rain delays for this. Another break point for McEnroe. And this could be another turning point in the match if he were able to break back.